So the San Francisco 49ers made a somewhat controversial move trading for the 13th overall pick that the Indianapolis Colts had. They gave up DeForest Buckner to do so, who's obviously a great player. And the guy they drafted in his place is Javon Kinlaw, a defensive tackle. So it's, you know, you're getting rid of an established player for a younger player and hope that the younger player can still be good and you're now saving money. And Kinlaw didn't exactly light the world on fire in his rookie season, but he did show some flashes. And honestly, that's often what I look for when I look at a rookie defensive tackle, especially a bigger guy like Kinlaw, just because it typically takes them a year to develop. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, usually it's the second year that they really are able to play well. And I, I did see some flashes with Kinlaw. So that's basically what I'm going to be talking about in this video. It's going to be more so the flashes. So like, let's start things off with a play like this. So what's going to happen is that that's where he is on the screen. He's going up one-on-one -on -one against New Orleans' left guard right here. And watch what he's going to do. Right when this play starts, look at that right hand. So immediately he's getting his uh, right hand, which is towards our left, kind of onto uh, the left shoulder pad of 75 right there for New Orleans. That's what he's trying to do right here. And he's just going to try to use his power to see if he can get through. Because again, what's crazy about Kinlaw is the fact that he, you know, physical freak, right? He's a big physical guy who also is a great athlete. He has both... Uh, it, part of his game and he's going to show them both off right here watch him just move 75 off to the side and he's going to run over and help make that tackle he wasn't the one who actually made the tackle but he had a big impact on it and again I'm looking for flashes right he got the hand placement he wants and was able to do something with it he has that NFL power he has the power that can push NFL linemen around if he gets the hand placement so there could be a little bit of just you know once he gets into his second year he'll get a little bit better at the hands which most guys do in their second year and can use that power and like this plays another one so he's going to be going up one-on-one -on -one against the right guard for Washington right here and right when this play starts, watch how he's going to be able to move like that. Look at that. Uh, again, it's the hands and the quick movement. He's an athlete. He absolutely is an athlete. So to be able to move that quickly, again, it's just something that you see that makes you say, okay, there's talent here. And that's what I'm looking for, really, with a rookie defensive tackle. This plays another example of this. This is something that I think that when defensive tackles can pull off something like this, it's just huge. And this could be a game-breaking type thing. This is what I love when a defensive tackle can do. He's going up one-on-one -on -one against a center, uh, which is already a matchup I would say that he should be able to win. Like, you want your defensive tackles to be able to beat centers, but watch how he's going to do it. Watch this immediate swim move right there, and he kind of got bumped out of the way. Still was able to run over and help make the tackle to some degree, and you even see him sort of uh, body slam the halfback at the end there. But it's that swim move that I like, because that's how you can basically just completely get by somebody and turn what... Sometimes that can, that kind of play can turn like a big run into a loss of two. That play, I think it was, you know, that play was probably never going to work out regardless with how well San Francisco played it. But still, again, you look for the upside, there's the upside. And one more play, again, not going to get too crazy in the detail on this one, but one I want to show one more. So he's going up one-on-one -on -one against the uh, right guard right here. And the guard's going to actually try and cut him, which basically means you, you go low. But this play is going to show off his athleticism. I mean, watch him be able to sort of sidestep like this, stay on his feet, and run over and help make the tackle. So, again, that's why I liked him so much coming out of college was because I said, you look at his highlights, his highlights are better than any defensive tackle's highlights. And if you can get him to do stuff like that consistently, he can be a great defensive tackle. So, again, it's impossible to know of these things, right? Because sometimes there's guys who have an okay rookie season, show some flashes, and then just never really get better. Sometimes there's guys who have this kind of rookie season and become superstars in their second year. So it's hard to exactly say for sure, uh, but I would say that he's kind of on track for what I would have expected out of him. So I guess that's good. Uh, it certainly doesn't mean he's a bust or anything like that. I would say that he's relatively on track. Uh, that's what I think. Again, kind of a shorter video right here. Not a ton to talk about, I think, but you know, let me know what you guys think about Kinlaw in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.